Hi, Elizabeth here with GlobalIndustrial.com. Setting up a cubicle or workstation with electric raceways may seem like a difficult task, but with Global's very own line of office partitions with modular raceways, it's easy to assemble multiple configurations for any office environment. For starters, let's show you how to assemble a partition. In this video, we'll be using one of our 36-inch wide partitions with an electric raceway. First, remove the already attached leveling feet from the base of the partition. Set these levelers aside for now, as you'll need them for later. Attach the raceway track kit to the base of the partition by aligning it to the panel's base and inserting two hex bolts where the leveling feet were. Then screw two sheet metal screws into the pre-drilled openings. Now reinsert your leveling feet into the innermost opening of the raceway brackets. Take the included aluminum channels and attach it to the bottom of the raceway using two small screws. Once all your partitions have the raceway tracks attached, you're now ready to connect multiple partitions together using our wide selection of steel connectors. Global Industrial offers a number of steel connectors that help you create various configurations. Our selection includes connectors for same height and multi height panels, as well as connectors with and without extended corner cables for attaching partitions at 90 degree angles. For this video, we'll be making a corner connection using two electric raceway partitions of the same height. For this installation, we require a 90 degree corner kit with extended corner cable. Using the included hex bolts, install a bottom corner bracket and tighten to one panel base and loosely attach the top connector with two hex bolts to the same panel. On the second partition, insert threaded panel studs in the first two slots of the base. Next, place the partitions so that the second panel studs fit into the bottom bracket and then loosely attach the top bracket to both partitions using hex bolts. For panel filler installation, insert the filler post into the bottom bracket first and then into the top bracket. Once inserted, firmly tighten all bolts on top. We have now connected two partitions together. The assembly process for additional partitions and partitions in other configurations is just as easy. Now that we have our partitions with electric raceways configured, it's time to install our power boxes. Please keep in mind that dual-sided power boxes are only included with the panels with the electric option. To insert the power box, simply align the notches on the top of the power box with the openings on the aluminum plate we installed earlier to the raceway. Once aligned, simply push up and slide the power box approximately 1 inch until snug. The power box should be 14 inches from the end of the panel when installed properly. Depending on the width of the panel purchased, either a single or double power box assembly is included. For cable installation in a straight connection, we recommend using the panel-to-panel -panel cable included with the partition raceway. But since we're making a corner connection, discard this cable and use the extended corner cable included with your connector kit. The corner cable is used when connecting power boxes around a 90 degree corner or across a three-way or four-way connection. To install this cable, push the cable into the power box until the cable is fully inserted and the latch is engaged. The raceway track kit features a cable tie bracket to dress data and power cables under the panels using twist ties or zip ties. Pass-through panels are available for connecting power boxes through a partition without an electric power box. Each power box is dual-sided and comes standard with four Circuit 1 receptacles and two blank covers, but keep in mind that each box can accept up to six receptacles, three on each side. Easily configure power boxes to your specifications using our selection of four circuit receptacle types that can be purchased separately. Receptacles are easily removed and substituted using a receptacle removal tool. Before connecting the power boxes to a power source, it is important that you shut off or disconnect your main power source and circuit breaker. With the power source shut off, we can connect our power boxes to a power source. Global Industrial offers a choice of plug-in cable and a multi-circuit starter cable. The single-circuit plug-in cable easily plugs into either a 15-amp or 20-amp circuit to supply power. The multi-circuit cable must be installed into a junction box by a licensed electrician to provide a power source. 
Before using raceways for power and or data connections, remove the opening blanks on the raceway cover. Insert data ports and cables before installing the raceway cover. To attach the raceway covers, place the notches in the raceway cover over the lips on the raceway legs and swing the covers upward until the magnets snap into place. With the raceways covered and connected, we can easily place base and end caps where needed to hide openings between partitions. Caps also feature a removable slot cover to allow cables to pass through while maintaining a finished look. Congratulations! You're on your way to completing a partitioned cubicle system with a power source for all your computer workspace needs. Let's see how easy it is to furnish your completed workstation with quality furniture and storage options. Global Industrial is packed full of high-quality furniture components that match the decor of our partitions. And for convenient storage options, easily attach any one of our overhead cabinets and hanging shelves right over your partition panel. With high-quality dependability, Global Industrial's fully functional partition panels with raceways can provide the power and convenience you need to keep your office environment up and running for years to come. I'm Elizabeth, and I'll see you next time.